Okay, Miles, you got Temple coming up this week. Uh, what can you remember a little bit about uh, the game last year against them? Uh, last year, well, really because of COVID, it's like a weird game. We got, got delayed uh, because there was some talk about them might maybe not playing and just some restrictions and different things like that. But just a big uh, away win, you know, against the infamous Temple Tough, you know, and that, that was the first time we had beaten Temple since I had been here. And uh, it was just a great team win and uh, hope to do that again this, this Saturday. Do you still see that toughness on film from them when you kind of flip on the tape and their size and everything? Yeah, Temple is definitely still a physical team and, and very uh, big uh, downhill uh, offense especially um, so you know we have to make sure we're physical and we match their energy and um, outmatch them honestly and at the point of contact and that's what we'll, we'll need to do to be successful this week. Is that what worked against them for you guys last year do you feel like in terms of the scheme situation like what were some of the X's and O's things that you guys did well against them? Yeah uh, really stopping the run that was one of the key things that uh, led us to that victory uh, on the side defensively it was uh, stopping the run getting them in third down situations, third and long situations, forcing them to uh, pass the football. So yeah, that was definitely a key thing that helped us with the victory last year. All right, we're late to the party. So can you talk a little bit about you know, this key this week is stopping the run? Yes, sir. Uh, they have a very dynamic backfield, uh, two uh, big running backs um, that get very downhill and uh, run the ball hard. Uh, so, you know, stopping the run, uh, being physical at the point of contact with our D-line, the linebackers in the interior. And then around the edges, they do a lot of jet sweeps, try to get the ball to the fast guys on the edges. So we got to set a strong edge and um, then play uh, play sound football in the in the backfield uh, with our DBs, and that'll, that'll lead us to the victory. We talked to Coach Harold yesterday, and he was saying that Temple's one of those teams that they actually huddle up. Yeah. And that's, that's different now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, so, you know, while they're huddled, you know, defensively, we kind of got to wait to see what formation they're in so we can get lined up. So it'll be different, and that's uh, something that we're going to have to practice this week. It's going to be an emphasis. But uh, nothing we haven't seen before. Defensively, you guys are playing 25 guys a game right now. What's it like to be a part of that? And you know, not let egos get in the way of like playing time or mm -hmm. that sort of stuff, like everybody kind of balled in. Well, it's it's actually a good thing because since I have been here, we, we hadn't had that depth that you see now. So being able to rotate, rotate guys in and out throughout the game, number one, it keeps us fresh. And that's how you see us. We're able to play for all four quarters, very strong, still flying around like it's the first quarter. And um, there's there's really no egos on the team. You know, we, we all are focused on winning. And, you know, once these these dubs keep coming in, you know, it, it doesn't matter who's playing. We just all want to succeed. Miles, you and your teammates have made it a point to speak out about mental health this season. Mm -hmm. How has that helped you guys jail as a unit? Well, mental health is a big thing. I, it's obviously, like, more in the game and just in all different sports across the nation. You see a uh, heavy emphasis on mental health because it's very key. Um, and just being there for each other and just knowing that hey like if my brother needs something and um that he can he can count on me to talk or be there for him laugh joke whatever he needs because you know the game of football is so small and uh mental health is mental health is a big thing you got to keep that first you know in order to succeed in life so that that just helps us bond as a unit so it's a brotherhood in that locker room halftime Okay. You guys have switched, you flipped the switch the last couple of weeks and then shut out the second half. Mm -hmm. uh, adjustments, like some of the stuff you guys have been doing, clearly it's working. Is yeah. I mean, what's going on at halftime? Well, really, um, you know, I feel like it's a, it's a chance to just calm down. You know, we played two quarters. So it's like any adjustments that need to be made, the coaches come down, we make them. But really, we just focus, focus in on each other. And, you know, we just say, let's leave that half behind us and let's go out and let's just execute, do our job. And lately it's just been, it's just, we've been executing that at a tremendous rate and that leads to the shutouts. How big is it to see results in a turnover game? You guys are obviously coached all the time to try to create turnovers, mm -hmm. but uh, it's gotta be pretty, pretty big to actually see the results and see how it changes the game. Um, does it change the way you guys play? Does it, you know, how, how does it affect you guys to actually see those results? Yeah, I mean, turnovers are huge. You know, I, I get as excited for one of my teammates making a turnover as if, as if it was myself, you know. But uh, it really just creates that energy, that energy that you can't, you can't emulate anything else. And, um, you know, just seeing those turnovers come, come to be, it just, 
something you really can't explain. But yeah, it, it definitely helps us mold as a defense and just uh, play that next play. You talk about that shark mentality. I see a lot of the guys on defense posting the shark, you know, fans up. Where does that come from? Uh, well, really, Coach Ellis, uh, he, he brought that shark mentality in last year. And really, you know, a shark is, is the meanest, meanest animal under the sea, you know, and just he never, he never stops. He's relentless, you know, and he has a pursuit to eat, you know, all day, every day. So that's, that's really just where that comes from. Just never, never letting up and just eating every time you're on the field. It seems like the expectation to win has increased um, as you guys continue to win ball games. Talk about what that's done for you guys moving forward here as you, you know, enter the stretch run. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, it's definitely been huge. And that positivity and, you know, hope, you know, trying to go bowling and all of that is just helping us stay 1-0 one, you know, one and every week. And, you know, I just realized this, but this is the first time that we – actually have a five plus win season potentially um, since 2015, you know? So just seeing that and seeing the culture changing is what keeps us moving forward. Okay. Thanks, Miles. Yeah, Thanks, no Miles. <laughs>